Hello everyone, uh, we are back here uh, with another video which is about uh, overlanding kitchen uh, and my tour at Coma long, um, long bed. Uh, I got the motivation from uh, Amazon to make this video. The reason being is I've been using this kitchen. I built it uh, earlier on this year and uh, I, I was browsing something uh, looking for something on Amazon and I realized um, they are selling a kitchen which is almost similar to this one but a little more fancier and a couple of other bells and whistles uh, and that is 1200 plus and on top of that there are taxes just for one side if you look at this I will explain you how, how I made it for this part all the way that is $1200 and this one is a separate price uh, so I made this whole thing with uh, about uh, two um, plywood sheet sheets, more than like a little more than two plywood plywood sheets. And uh, if you can look, like this is all the way in my truck. And uh, even my truck bed is more useful now uh, because now it is all raised. I use my stuff on like it is easier to grab and I never fill it up to the top so for traveling and overlanding that is perfect scenario for me the only one drawback I have is when I am traveling with my trailer and uh, I open my tailgate then tailgate does not open fully because of the trailer hitch and it stays that high so I might have to raise it if I want to use while my trailer is hooked but uh, when I am doing real overlanding then I am not taking my trailer with me it is for long trips when I am going on the long trips then I use my trailer otherwise I don't use my trailer um, so let me explain you how I built this if you look at this this is the drawer number one and what I did is I I cut a plywood sheet with this like if you look at the top to the end the exact same sheet is at the bottom so I made my stove and I opened it and made it how much space I need when it is all opened and um, then I decided the inside width of my drawer based on that I put two two by tens on sides just imagine this is upside down so it is exact same thing so I just screwed on these two two by tens all the way to the end to make this drawers um, compartment so that is the basic thing and then same thing I just made on this side my fridge dimensions so my fridge can fit right in here so then whatever space is left I made this drawer based on that so if you look simply here um, this 2 by 10 this 2 by 10 and this 2 by 10 I just screwed those on top like this this and this and then constructed my drawers with the plywood whatever the compartment size you need you can kind of custom build or your own thing and then simply just push those drawers in I never used any rails on those because I think I don't need those rails because I can pull these out and push those in myself uh, yeah a little bit of effort but not that much so then I put another plywood sheet on top of it then I made a couple of compartments uh, on top because if I have to use this uh, I have to use this uh, without opening my uh, tailgate then it should be accessible right here I can show you so here it is so these are the compartments um, which I made this one and this one 
I will show you this same stuff when I pull out the drawer. So that's how it works. Like if you're just going to grab something, you're on the go, uh, you need uh, something from your storage, whatever you are storing in the drawers or food, uh, they are accessible here. The other thing is uh, just make sure when you cut this, this flap, make sure this flap should sit on the two by 10, not on the drawer, because if it is sitting on the drawer, then it will keep sinking in. So now it does not go down. See? So I just made, uh, like use the hinges and I just used one long uh, hinge and cut those into the pieces to just attach those here. So it works fine. And I am using this from almost about, uh, I believe eight months. Uh, same thing with the middle drawers right there. <coughs> Look at this. And, um, Right here. So, this works perfect for me. And if you go on the other side, there is extra storage which does not have any drawer. But, this does not have any drawers. But I use, sometimes I use my electrical wires and everything, uh, some extra stuff, which I am just, maybe some tools. Uh, I keep those here. So it packs up my uh, stuff pretty well because uh, this is the way I am staying more organized uh, when I'm traveling. So let me show you the drawers in detail. This is my stove and uh, my gas cylinders are always here. So I usually keep one cylinder here, which I am using. Rest of those will go in the back drawer. And, uh, oh, there's the boat going, I guess. Uh, it is not interfering too much with our sound, but let it go a little far. <laughs> okay, so this is my setup. And if you see, there are two handles. One is for the main drawer, I pull it out. And second one is for this drawer. And it has all my knives, forks, spoons, whatever I need, uh, lighters. And these are my garbage bag handles with like uh, bag hangers. So this is not a perfect place to hang the garbage bag, but for small things, you know, like not like the the piles of the garbage, but you know, like for little cooking stuff. So I hang a small bag here, which works well, but it interferes with this, but I am okay with that. It works good. So, uh, I just uh, kept a little extra space for these. And uh, West Coast Toyota, a couple of years ago, their assistant manager gave me these lights, which I use right here when I am cooking. So they work pretty well. So this is my setup pretty much. And uh, then you can uh, customize all those compartments based on your needs. Look at that, how long it is, all the way. And uh, second drawer is, and I can tell you like Amazon is selling one side with so much money. Uh, and I don't think like if you can do a few things yourself then yeah it will take time it, it, it definitely takes time but it's worth that unless you have so much money that you can spend on so this is the second drawer for my food macaroni and uh, all that stuff nuts i kind of categorize those and keep those separate uh, spices go here tea and everything all stuff is here a chadim saleh uh, and if uh, someone is from India watching this video, they know this is called Maggi. Maggi da bhi sare nu pata hona chahiye. Haiga sare nu pata. So Maggi paar anjwa ke khana da da swada ho poor ke niya da. So <laughs> this is what it is. And uh, so I have an electric fridge which fits right in here, perfect. So we use that. And uh, this is our lithium cube 12, uh, 1200 wagon tech which is a perfect 
fit for our overlanding needs and it works great but it's pricier um, but like I struggled a lot so much for with the power and everything for years but then eventually I decided to spend that money and uh, now it, I'm, I'm kind of using it uh, and it's very helpful so guys if you like our videos and uh, if you like our this effort um, please uh, do subscribe and uh, I will be posting more videos regarding uh, my track setup and how it has been set up like my my new edition which was done about a year ago the forest service sorry not the forest service it says FSR like forest service roads but no it is a free spirit recreation so I believe this is one of the best tents available in the market um, there must be other ones too which are good but uh, I love this one uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, awning on the side and awning room as well so we will do that setup on the other day that's pretty much about it please keep following us and uh, give me your um, thoughts and comments about uh, this video if you have any questions be please feel free to ask i will uh, try to help out as much as i can if you can save a few bucks that's great have a good day guys keep exploring